numbers of colorful underwater creatures. Rich marine biodiversity, clearly visible through the crystal blue waters, spreads over an area of 34 square kilometers which makes it one of the best known type spots in the country. The largest coral reef in the Philippines and the second largest connecting coral reef in the world. Situated in the province of Occidental Mindoro, a truly entrancing sight to behold. This is Mokoy Vlogs with Chewy Free Diving welcomes you to Apo Reef. We arrived around 9 p.m. and we waited inside Batangas Port for the rest of the team. Due to COVID restrictions, sanitation and checking of temperature is still a must. Normal. I appreciate na rin natin ang napakagandang modern Batangas Port where you can book a ferry ticket to visit nearby islands. The Port of Batangas never closes and it's open to serve the riding public at all times. Here, we book our ferry ticket via Montenegro shipping lines going to Abra de Ilog. Going to Apo Reef would require multiple mode of transport. So for Manila, you need to drive around 3 hours going to Batangas Port, sea transport bound to Abra de Ilog which is around 3 to 4 hours, and there will be another 3 hour drive going to Sablayan Port. Ito nga pala yung Roro na sasakyan namin, at ito naman yung barko for the tour. Char, syempre joke lang, ito talaga siya. This will be our home and transport vehicle for the rest of our stay here in Occidental Mindoro. Sila naman yung mga kasama namin at ito naman yung mga fan na nag-attend sa amin dito. At dahil po protected area ang Apo Reef, mayroon po lang po tayong inaalaw na maximum capacity. Ito po ay 150 person per day. Yun po ay nung wala pang pandemic. Pero ngayon po, inaalaw na lang po ng tourism ang 75 person capacity ng island. Kapag na na po yung maximum capacity, hindi na po inaalaw yung guest na pumunta sa Apo Reef. Set up po tayo mga <laughs> Isang bulag siya. Kapalit na rin sila. Bees na! Na prayer and Christian si nagsaset up na ng kanyang camera. Isang black ni Jackie pa! <laughs> From Sablayan Port, it would take an hour to reach our first dive spot. And this is the Aporib's shipwreck. Ito talaga yung reason kung bakit ako napasama sa tour na to. Luckily, we were given a perfect weather, kaya naman napakalino ng tubig. It's also highly recommended to visit this spot during weekdays para wala kayong kaagaw sa pag -aura. Right after our first dive, we went straight to Apo Island where we planned to stay for the rest of the night. At dahil wala dito hotels or accommodation, you must bring your camping items with you. Una muna na dito ang camping tent or hammock so you can secure your belongings and of course, yourself. Make sure to also bring headlamp or any source of light dahil walang kuryente or generator sa isla. Huwag din kalimutan ang power bank for your gadgets. Lastly, bring insect repellents. Common issue sa island ang insect bites, mosquitoes, at mga nicknick within the area. Since as island ka na din, better explore the area at puntahan ang kaninang lagoon. Magpapicture sa mga bakawan habang nag-aantay ng hapunan. Yes, Rambo. <laughs> Siyempre, nainggit. <laughs> Mangrove. Oh, no. Diyan may mga crocodiles. <laughs> Bago matapos ang araw, perfect din puntahan ang napakataas nilang lighthouse. For the watching yung mga first one, sa napakagandang Golden Sunset. And so 
So, makit na tayo dito sa lighthouse ng Aporif. First few steps, kaya pa. <laughs> Walang angal, kayang kaya. Pero, titignan natin. Sobrang ganda guys ng view. Sobrang ganda ng sun, sun, sunrise view. I mean, sunset view. Hindi <laughs> alam. Marami ang tarik. Blow mo talaga. Nagablow na ako. Malakas. Ang ganda kayo nga. Konti lang po. May mga pagkakataon talagang mapapasana all ka na lang, no? Anyway, that's for our first day. Second day na namin dito sa Apo Reef at pupuntahan namin yung Iguwa. Tama ba kaya Iguwa? Uh -huh. Si Kuya aming pilot. Kaya nung pangalan daw? Romel. Si Kuya Rubel ang aming pilot ng bangka for the rest of our 3 days stay here at Apo Reef. So aming bangka, ayan, laki. Despite having a good weather, medyo hindi kami pinalad makita ng mga barahuda at iba pang rare species ng marine life sa Iguwa. So, let me show you guys some footages from Sir Norman Lopez the last time he visited this spot. Follow nyo sa Instagram. Promise, sobrang astig ng mga underwater macro photography niya. Sinulit na din ang mga kasama ko ang mag-sightseeing habang nakakapit sa bangka on our way Back to Aporif Island. The moment we arrived, in explore at in enjoy na rin namin ang makukulay na corals nearby. Binalikan ko nga pala ulit ang lighthouse to get more drone footages bago matapos ang araw.
On our third day, we visited Pandan Island. Pandan Island is a private island with a small resort on the west coast of Occidental Mindoro. It's actually my second time here pero noong una akong pumunta 7 years ago, hindi pa ako free diver that time. And I must say, mas na-appreciate ko yung ganda niya ngayon. Bukod sa mga turista na bumibisita sa isla, napakarami rin mga pawikan na pumupunta dito para kumain at magparami. Here's Nami, my dive buddy, dito sa Pandan Island. At itong yellowfish na sinemahan kami all throughout our dive. After 7 years, finally, nakabalik din ako dito sa Occidental Mindoro. Kahit na tatlong araw na walang signal, internet at kuryente, dalawang gabi sa tent, walang kama, pero may pakape. Maraming pagod, puyat, pati din rin heartaches. Pero mas maraming realizations. Visiting Apo Reef is definitely one of the best diving experience of my life. A massive thank you to Explore Occidental Mindoro, our tour provider. Sui Free Diving, our tour organizer. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please like and subscribe to Nokai Vlogs. See you again soon!